Well, hello everyone. This is Javier and you're watching Retire Recharge Rome. So I thought for this video that I would go through a cost of living summary. We've been here really right at a year now in Laos. So I've got a lot of data to pull from. And so I've got uh, what looks like our monthly average for our various costs and a summary based on that. So I'm going to go through that. Before I get started, uh, we are approaching Lao New Year or Pimai Lao. So you may hear in the background the dance music from the village. Our farmhouse is a little bit outside the village, but when they have boon hunes or parties in the village, sometimes you can hear the, the music floating across from where they are. So you might hear that in the background. All right, so let's go through our monthly breakdown as far our, as far as what our costs look like. Gonna give you a little bit of background. So when we moved here last year, not long after we moved here, I was interested to see if I could do any consulting. Just so it worked out. I found a job with a local company, uh, supporting them in some of their business process improvement. It helped me, and this is maybe something I'll include as I do a video on early retirement, but I think it was really beneficial for me in that, one, it helped me uh, integrate into the culture, kind of gave me a soft landing into what it's like to be here in Laos. Uh, of course, there was the time spending here with Fawn and her family, but uh, there's some things about spending time in a office environment or just in a different environment with local Lao people, which was really helpful for me, learning a little bit more of the language, learning a little bit more of the culture and a business or office environment was beneficial to me. And also uh, another benefit for us was that it allowed us to, to come in on a 12 month visa. So we got uh, what's known as uh, an LAB2 working visa. So that was really helpful in terms of allowing us to go in and out of the country as needed on the on the visa. So now at the end of 2023, that uh, contract expired. So now as we approach the uh, uh, the end of that, the, the end of those visa terms, we'll be doing something probably a little bit differently, um, doing more traveling for sure. So we are doing traveling around the country of Laos and we'll probably do some traveling outside of the country to some of the surrounding areas. So you'll see some of that in our upcoming videos. The reason I say all that is just because when we moved here initially, as we were having the farmhouse built, we had an apartment in town in Vien Chan, And so some of the costs, utilities, for example, you will see reflected in that. So let's go through our breakdown as far as our cost of living. I'm just gonna go through line by line. I have some detail on this. So uh, first cost, uh, if you look at our breakdown, really our top cost on a monthly basis is food. And that makes sense. So between groceries and going out to eat in restaurants, that was roughly about half of our overall cost on a monthly basis. For uh, average month, let's say uh, groceries, for example, was about 340,000. Maybe I'll break this down into Lao Kip. So Lao Kip, 6,994,000, or uh, converting that to US, that was $341 US. Uh, most of 2023, the exchange rate uh, I'm using is or was 20,500 Lao Kip to one US dollar. The, the Lao Kip fluctuates and it fluctuates throughout most of last year. And now I believe it's roughly at about 21,000, uh, 21 to 23,000 Lao Kip to one US. It just kind of depends on, on where the exchange is, is given. So going back to the monthly breakdown, about 6,994,000 Lao Kip or $341 US. Restaurants going out, converting that to US, that's about $328. So 
So we did a mix and really uh, what you find here and maybe most of Southeast Asia is essentially cooking is uh, co uh, similar to, to going out in terms of overall cost, just the preference. Now there are some restaurants can, that can be much more costly if you're going to a Western type restaurant, um, but standard regular restaurants uh, can be comparable if, if uh, maybe a little bit cheaper than buying and cooking your food. Uh, the next cost for us on our monthly breakdown was uh, home and garden costs. So that came out to be about $328 US. So again, as we were looking at living on the farm for this month, the biggest cost here was rice. So a one-time cost of about 6 million Lao Kip or about $300 US. And that really kind of gets us through the rest of the year. So we buy rice in bulk both uh, chow, so the steamed rice, uh, as well as the uh, the sticky rice, which is a staple in Lao food through the Kao Niao. Next item on our list of expenses is our fuel cost. So you've seen that we we do have vehicles that we that we use. Fawn has uh, with the family. We have the family car that we use. And then we also have the trooper that you've probably seen in various videos. Uh, but overall, on a monthly basis, we spend about $96 US, so just under $100 US or uh, under 2 million Lao Kip. If you look at the overall cost of fuel in Lao, it's, it ranges between 20 million or 23 million Lao Kip per liter, so just roughly about a dollar per liter depending on if you're using diesel or gasoline. So that converts to about 440 a gallon or thereabouts. Uh, the next expense that we have on our list is utilities. So here we have a, uh, we're showing a cost of about 1.5 million or about $74 US for uh, monthly cost. <clears throat> Uh, the cost of utilities in Lao overall is pretty low. So if you look at the um, dollar per kilowatt hour, it comes out to about five cents US per kilowatt hour is kind of the, the general or standard utility rate. You do want to be mindful of that if you're if you're renting, or even if you're if you're buying in a certain area, if you're uh, uh, with your Lao family. Uh, you do want to be mindful of what the utility rate is in the particular area that you're, you'll be living in. Uh, from a rental standpoint, we've seen, I've seen rental rates change from that standard five cents all the way up to 11 or 12 cents per kilowatt hour, depending on where you are. So the particular area uh, can, can impact or affect the utility rate that you're going to be paying. Now for us, that uh, 1.5 million Lao Kip, or $75 US, um, since we have an apartment, part of 2023, that apartment utility cost is reflected, and actually most of that cost is in the apartment utility cost. I believe that that was about $60 US uh, was a big part of that. And then the remaining cost was uh, what we saw in terms of electrical needs on the farm. Next item that we had in our breakdown was uh, our clothing cost. So that was about a, a 900,000 kip, 890,000 Lao kip, or about $43. So that was just buying, you know, buying clothes when we first moved here as we got settled in. We gave a lot of our clothes away when we before we moved to Laos. So just uh, buying just some some necessities in terms of clothing and shoes. There was also a um, a wellness uh, cost that we see in our cost of living. So that was eight hundred sixty thousand Lao Kip. Basically, what that is is massages. So fun. 
was going and getting a massage about once a week or thereabouts. The cost for massages in Lao, probably similar to Thailand uh, here, it's about 100,000 Lao kip per hour, about $5 US per hour. Again, depending on the place that you go to, spa or hotel or what have you. And so you can just work out work out what that what that was in terms of how many how many we we had that month. But eight hundred eight hundred and sixty thousand lao kip translates to about forty one dollars U.S. for the month. The next cost that we have uh, for us uh, again, this is specific for our monthly expenses, but we had a cost on the farm for. The animals, so we spent 617,000 Lao Kip, or about $30 US, uh, buying vitamins and nutrients for the birds. This is not a monthly cost, a reoccurring cost, but this is something that we needed to do, and this is something that, that happens on occasion, just buying nutrients for the animals as needed. Next item is a healthcare cost, so this was a medication purchase. Uh, so 500,000 Lao Kip, or about $24 US, buying some medication. We'll have medication medication expenses throughout the year. Uh, not a monthly expense, but again, for uh, for either myself or Fawn or other family members on an as-needed basis. So you'll see that. <clears throat> um, coffee shops is another one. So on occasion, uh, Fawn and I would like to go out and have a coffee. For monthly expenses, we saw that to be about 454,000 Lao Kip or $22 US. Um, on average, coffee is now or about 30 to 40,000 Lao Kip, depending on what you get for a cappuccino or what have you. So, our daily expense, if you break that out to daily, is about 71 cents uh, per, per, per day. So, not bad if you look at it that way. Uh, next item for us uh, was vehicle maintenance. So again, this is a snapshot for a, a given month from over the past 12 months, over the past year. So for us, in this month, we had a couple of different things that occurred to, to the car that we had to fix. So uh, we were doing some traveling this month, and for whatever reason, we had two flat tires this month, uh, plus we had a car wash that we paid for. So all together, that came out to um, astounding uh, 170,000 Lao Kip, or $8.29 US to fix two flat tires and to get a car wash. And then we also had, uh, as the last item of expenses for us, we had donations, so uh, temple donations. Not every month, but uh, for certain occasions, we'll go to the temple and give merit and what have you. So we had an expense for this month of 100,000 Lao Kip, or about $4.88, so just under $5 giving donations. So let me back up on a few items here, and let me also just make some qualifications uh, in terms of uh, the overall expenses and how they lay out. Again, you'll see that half of our overall expenses are going to food, whether eating out at restaurants or going to to the market to buy groceries. And we did a, we do a mix typically, so we'll go to either uh, what you would think of as a standard grocery store, so something like a what we have here in, in Laos or uh, uh, what's called a D-Mart or a J-Mart, so either of those are kind of two standard grocery stores like you would think of, um, I don't know what you would have in the US or in North America, there is what I can think of as uh, Randall's <clears throat> or a uh, HEB if you're down in the South uh, or just going to a Walmart doing those, uh, you know, those kind of things. Or it could, could also include for us going to a local wet market. So that's all kind of lumped into that grocery line item. But yeah, over half or about half of our overall costs on a monthly basis go to food, groceries, and eating out. And then the other 
another 25% of our monthly cost goes to what I call our home and garden expense. So that's just things that we buy for, for the farm just to support our daily farm activities. So whether it's buying uh, things for the animals or things like our one-time purchase of rice, those kind of things. One uh, interesting thing here is that if you look at our grocery selection, there's just been a recent add to our groceries and that's a grocery store called Big C. So from what I understand, this is a grocery store uh, that's originally from Thailand. Now we just had our first Big C open here in Laos and Vieng Shan uh, just a week ago, I believe. And so that's uh, pretty exciting. Walking through the Big C, you know, I would, um, again, coming from the US, I would compare this to something between a Super Walmart or a Costco, those sorts of things. You've got, uh, it's kind of like uh, walking into its own uh, self-contained uh, shopping mall, kind of. So they've got a selection of everything from prepared food when you walk in. So they, they've got a little food court that you can walk through and, and eat and you can see, I've got a video showing a walkthrough of the Big C a few days ago. But basically you walk through and uh, you know, you've got your various local food selections that could include everything from uh, your local Lao uh, authentic food to your, to your uh, meatballs, your luk, luk xian and your damak hung, uh, as well as your noodle soup. So pretty much everything you can imagine that you would see on an authentic Lao or Thai menu uh, is included on the food court with most prices are between that 30 to 50,000 Lao Kip, so $1.50 to $2 US for most things. Then walking through the Big C, uh, as we did that, you could see that, uh, again, kind of the standard grocery store selection, so they've got all the produce and fruit and vegetables, um, one interesting thing that I saw here at this Big C, which I don't remember whether I've seen, but maybe I didn't notice this when last time we were in Thailand, was the meat selection is similar to kind of a, a open air market or a wet market in terms of the way that you see the meat for the most part shown and displayed, but you can walk through and, and buy what, what you need. So you've got the big slabs of, of um, pork ribs and what have you, but then they've also got a uh, pretty good selection of beef, steak, and and those sorts of things, as well as you can walk through and see the open uh, open air selection of seafood and fish. So I one thing I'd say about the Big C is they do seem to have a larger selection of, of food uh, as opposed to the other grocery stores in uh, in Laos. Uh, but the overall prices seem to be at least for now, as they first open, prices seem to be a little bit more expensive at Big C. I'd say, in my opinion, 10 to 15% higher than what you might see at a D Mart or a J Mart. Uh, so really there is a few different levels from what I've seen here. There's the Big C that we, that we just had open, which is 10 to 15% higher than the uh, D Mart or the J Mart. And I've got a little video clip of walking through a D-Mart, which you'll see kind of what that difference is between the Big C and the D-Mart. And then you've got the oh, the standard open air or the wet markets. And those markets, I'd say the differential between the Big C and the open air markets is probably about 30%. And then you've got the D-Mart and the J-Mart that's kind of right uh, between between those two. So yeah, I'd say if you want to go the, the most cost effective way and the, the lowest cost is going to the local open air markets, there might, there might be some things if you're moving here from North America or from a Western or European country, there might be some things at one of the grocery stores that you can only, you can only find. So I'm thinking cheeses, um, 
milk, uh, some of your meats, those kind of things you may prefer to, to go to one of the grocery stores uh, to, to find those kind of things. Okay, so if you look at our overall monthly cost in terms of expenses, uh, our monthly expenses amount to about $1,344 US, or if you look at Laokip, about $27.5 million Laokip on a monthly basis. <clears throat> uh, that's our average money spend. As I look at month to month, our lowest monthly spend was about $1,000 US over the past 12 months where the most expensive month was, I believe, about $1,800 US. So every month will be a little bit different if we're doing something different in terms of uh, traveling or unique expenses. But on average, we're spending that about $1,340 US. So to summarize, our monthly expenses come out to about 27.5 million Laokip or $1,344 US. And that is, again, for both uh, Fawn and myself, as well as supporting the family uh, and the farm operation. So there are some kind of one-time expenses that will pop in from month to month. But on the farm, on the compound that we live on, it's Fawn and myself, as well as Fawn's sister and brother-in-law. So the four of us together and supporting uh, kind of daily life on the farm. Now that's the average price or that's the average cost, $1,344. We've seen month, some months as low as $1,000 US. We've seen some months as high as $1,800. So it just kind of depends on what may be specific to, to a given month in terms of uh, things going on. Some things that you don't see on that uh, monthly breakdown I'll make sure and comment on. Uh, we don't see, or I don't have anything here in terms of rent expenses because we live on the farm. So for um, yourself, if you're looking at your own specific needs and your own specific expenses, you'd want to make sure that you also account for rent or living expenses. Uh, we don't have health insurance on here because again, when we first moved here, um, we were covered uh, through the uh, consulting uh, job that I was doing uh, at, through the end of last year. Now we uh, are basically self-insuring ourselves for, for health insurance to make sure that we've got enough covered in case something happens. We, we may look at uh, different options for health insurance in the future. As I've looked at it, I have looked at some pricing. so. I know there is some travel insurance that for both Fawn and myself as a family to be covered would be up to about, I believe, $200 for the both of us for standard uh, travel and medical coverage, uh, what you consider kind of standard expat coverage. There's also, there are also local plans. So there is, uh, I know for example, there is a plan that would cover uh, local coverage in one of the local uh, public hospitals here in Vientiane that would be I think a standard two million Lao Kip or about $100 US per year uh, for each of us so if you think yeah $200 to cover the both of us per year that for a standard public hospital coverage that's pretty affordable but we again for the time being we're just self-insuring uh, until we can do, you know, consider something differently. And then the third item that's not listed in our monthly expenses are visa fees, uh, because again, our visa was covered when we first moved, in, moved here. Uh, but I know that if you're doing month-to-month uh, -month visa, 30-day uh, visas typically will be, for a tourist visa, about $40 US per individual. And there are so many other visa options. If you're doing long-term or 12-month visas, those can range in cost. I'd recommend contacting a, a visa agent if you're serious 
about being here long term, and we can put a link down in the description of a uh, an agent that we would recommend. But there are there are so many that can take care of those kind of services for you, for you if you are considering long term living in Laos. All right, so that is our monthly breakdown. I hope this was useful for you. Uh, again, if anyone else that's watching has any other input, I'd like to hear what other people's comments are in terms of other living expenses. This is just our, based on our experience and our living situation, but other people may have, may have their input for what their living uh, costs look like or, or you know, what they think their living expenses might, might be. So yeah, I'd welcome any comments. Uh, so please provide your input. All right, thank you. So again, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. And for those that are watching in Lao, Shokti Pimai, hope everyone has a great Lao New Year.